everyone. Welcome to today's experiment. This experiment is something that is near and dear to my heart. We're going to be making sludge. Now, this is not the kind of sludge I'm used to working with. Typically, I'm used to dealing with toxic sludge that contaminates waterways and communities. But today we're gonna to be making a type of sludge that's gonna be safe for you to play with. And if you choose to keep this sludge or slime, depending on how thick you make it, beyond today's experiment, I recommend you keep it in a Ziploc bag that you keep sealed and closed when you're not playing with it. So some essential ingredients for today's experiment. Elmer's glue. The recipe actually recommends eight ounces of white Elmer's glue. I only have clear Elmer's glue, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Saline solution, absolutely essential. You can add one to two tablespoons of this solution depending on how thick you want the sludge or slime. If you want slime, I recommend adding one tablespoon. The more saline solution, the closer you're getting to a thicker sludge-like consistency. And I, you're going to need a tablespoon to measure this solution. You'll also need your tablespoon to measure baking soda. You'll need one tablespoon of baking soda. You're going to need a mixing bowl. I am going to be using a couple of spatulas to mix my sludge together, but kids, feel free to use your hands. Also a measuring cup. If you don't have a perfectly measured bottle of eight ounces of glue, you're going to need a measuring cup. A couple of other tips. I always love putting something under my working area. We're gonna be using glue, and the bonus is food dye. It's not essential, but you can add food dye and even glitter to your sludge to create it however you see fit. Today I'm gonna to be using blue because that's my favorite color. For covering my work area, I'm using freezer paper. It's simply what we have in our pantry. You might have parchment paper, um, but you could also use newspaper or a paper bag. These items will also work great as a barrier between your work surface and your countertops. I'm also wearing an apron. I highly encourage you to wear an apron or an old t-shirt that you won't mind getting glue or food dye on. Also, if you have long hair like me, tie it back. If you do happen to get the glue or the slime in your hair, uh, coconut oil is something that you can use to work the slime out of your hair. Okay, so this is eight ounces of glue or one cup. Next, you're gonna add the food coloring. Right now it's time to make slime or sludge. Like I said, if you want to be more on the slime end of the consistency, use one tablespoon of your contact solution. I prefer one and a half tablespoons. To me, it's the perfect consistency. It doesn't stick too much to your hands. Make sure it gets nice and mixed together. We have all the ingredients. Whoa! All right, folks, here we are. This is our blue sludge. How fun. I hope you've enjoyed our science experiment, and I'll see you next time.